ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us, sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So, sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Did you hear about the esthetician that let her child do waxing on 24 women and put it on social media? That is what the world has come to. Yes. Matter of fact, Janissa sent me the article let me see if i can find it i was shocked let me let's see here and the girl was like five years old mm, trying to see if it comes up It was such a weird story. Oh, shit. DSS is investigating. Ooh, there's an update, y'all. Let me share my screen. Breaking news. We have an update. Uh, Hold on. Okay, there we go. So DSS is investigating her now. On social, on social media, media this story, story. teaching your children about working to earn money, money is a common, common lesson in many, in many families. That However, that lesson is landing one, one Memphis, Memphis business owner in hot water. Even Memphis, Memphis police, police are now involved. Yeah, so this started after pictures of what appears to be the business owner's young daughter waxing a nude adult woman and being paid for it, they surfaced on social media. Now, they've since been removed and we won't show you them here because it's inappropriate. Our Alan Self joined us live tonight from one address connected to that business and Alan what are you learning so far about this investigation Shane Stephanie this business owner was online bragging about how this child helped her uh, wax 24 customers which helped the child bring in $700 the address associated with the business license is this house right here we knocked on the door no one answered we attempted to call the business owner no one picked up we need to be upfront. It isn't clear exactly where these photos were taken. We spoke with an esthetician at Pretty Girls Get Waxed in Memphis. She says she would never get uh, something done at someone's home, and having an underage worker is out of the question. That would not even be safe, much less legal. So it would not be good. I just, you don't know what people do in their house, and even though their house should be clean, you don't know if it is, and you don't know who's gonna come in and out their house while you just laying on their table. Now, Memphis uh, PD says it's aware of these images and a joint investigation is underway by MPD and the Department of Children's Services. Memphis police say they have received over 80 complaints on this issue since yesterday, and this investigation is ongoing. In Whitehaven, Alan Self, WREG. Okay, all right. Sorry, I forgot to mute. Thank y'all for reminding me. So you guys just saw that that's the update. They have called DSS on the mom. Um, so there's there's two ways I can that I see this. First and foremost, um, as an adult, I would be extremely uncomfortable if I walked into a place to get waxed, and there's a five year old child standing there with a with a little bucket of hot wax and a stick, and she's about to wax me down below. That I don't even understand like how you think that that's okay. So one, I'm giving the patrons who came to the home to get waxed by a five-year-old, I'm giving them the side eye. Because again, why are we getting undressed and naked in front of somebody else's child who's five? That is weird. And for the mother to think that that's okay is insane to me. It's one thing to teach your child, like, okay, I wanna teach them what I do for a living so maybe they can take over the family business. But that's very intimate. It's one thing to have her in there watching you wax people's eyebrows or unibrows or maybe even underarms, but to have her one watching you wax people's vaginas, but then on top of that, having her do it to me is just, it doesn't make any sense. I don't understand like why that would be okay um, for a five-year-old. And I don't understand like what adult would be okay with that. And I don't, and does she have, is it just, 
women that are coming for what like is she also waxing men because to me the the woman the mom just sounds money hungry the five-year-old is making money for her so what's to stop her from because you know a lot of guys now they like to like keep themselves clean like <laughs> y'all know this new generation on here like what is it called manscaping you know they manscape now hoodie they're not coming with them wild bushes back in the day ah! that's not funny okay but you know like all these dudes like you know they like to like manscape and they like it smooth down there so um was she also allowing this five-year-old to like put wax on people's balls and you know on their shaft and you know just like i don't know i'm just like what the fuck like it doesn't make any sense to me like are we also manscaping men like like what what in the pedo ring is going on here she shouldn't be like waxing anybody men or women at five you have to be 18 or over to do that to do you know esthetician work and things like that and then think about it what if like she ends up burning a client this is a five-year-old kids make mistakes you know five-year-olds drop juice on the carpet so imagine she like dumped a, a, a bottle of hot wax on somebody's crotch by accident. Now you're looking at a lawsuit, she done burned somebody coochie. Like what, like what, what is a mom thinking? It doesn't make any sense to me. So I'm glad that TikTok got on it. Somebody said tea in these wild bushes. <laughs> I'm just saying, y'all know back in the day, child. <laughs> y'all know back in the day, honey. Um, bushes be wild. <laughs> you know, I'm glad that men like groom themselves more now. I'm here for it. <laughs> But yeah, I just, when I first heard that story, I was just like, no, this can't be real. This cannot be real. But she was really having her daughter wax people. From what I saw, it was women, but you never know. You never know. She could have been getting men clients too, you know, all money spends. But I'm glad that DSS is involved. You know, there's nothing wrong with wanting your child to take on a, a trade, but you also have to use common sense. And also the people that were clients. To me, that gives me like pedo vibes too, because I'm sorry, as soon as I walked in and there's a child there, I'm gonna feel away. Why is your child here? I don't even like when I walk into places, you know, when I used to get my hair done and people's kids would be running around. Like I want peace and quiet and you know, me and the, the hairstylist to talk. I don't wanna be hearing your kids in the background screaming and fighting and shit. So I couldn't imagine I'm supposed to be getting, you're already nervous when you're gonna get waxed anyways. So I couldn't imagine you're going to get waxed and then a five-year-old, is here looking at my yahoo ready to no absolutely not go ahead put my clothes on i'm out so I, i'm 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 giving the clients the side eye along with the mother you know what i'm saying it's not the the child's fault but the mother and the clients they all get the side eye for me it, you, you're not supposed to be naked in front of children let alone somebody else's child that's insane so, woo, we went on a tirade, honey. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us in tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So, sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.